Let's take a look at number 28. For number 28 here, our beaver is starting in the middle. So we don't want to move our beaver all the way to one end or the other. We want to code in the most efficient way possible. The way that gets the work done in the quickest way with the least amount of blocks. So the first thing I should do is deal with what's in front of me. I can see we need to drop two logs first. One, two. Now, sometimes we move first, sometimes we drop first. That mixes us up sometimes. We want to drop first. The next thing we want to do is move. Now, that should fill one. Testing is important. So, now, don't just click need a hint, because the hints are not always helpful. Um, I can see that I need to use that system one, two, three, four times. So I'm going to take them off, get my loop. Remember, we shouldn't start with a loop always. We should test what we're going to put in the loop and then maybe put it in the loop. So if I've got that all figured out, it should fill all of these. Again, I need to test because an important step in programming is breaking your program into chunks and testing as you go. Excellent. So far, so good. Now, another reason I love testing is my beaver is right here. I don't always go straight to go back. I look at, because now this is a great way to count for the next steps. So we need to go one, two, wait, say one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need to go six times. So that one's pretty straightforward. Move six times. And I want to go this way. If you are solving your more complex coding problems by doing parts and testing as you go, you get your work done. If you try to write all the code without testing as you go, you get stuck. So I can see here, all my beaver needs to do now is drop four. I like to do that when the beavers, it makes it so much easier to see when I can see it on the screen instead of when I'm trying to picture it and keep it in my mind.